So I think today will be a perfect day to harvest spicy hot oregano and give it a good van dry. These are nice and long too. So I'm going to dehydrate in the van. Okay, I think that's enough for right now. I gave it a really good haircut. Left some longs so it can shade the rest of it. Go put it in the salad spinner, wash it a couple times, spin it out, and then put it in the van to bake. Okay, it's quarter after ten in the morning. I've rinsed it twice, spun it several times. So this is a hot and spicy oregano. I'll come out and check it a couple times because there isn't a lot of meat to these leaves, so they should dry out fairly fast. Plus, it's hotter than bloody blue blazes again today. So I will come out and check it, no, oh, maybe one o'clock. One o'clock. Let's see what we got. I would say getting there and getting there really quick. I really don't want to put them in the sun, but that would dry them out really fast. But they're drying pretty good. They may be done by 7 o'clock when the sun goes down. I'll tell you one thing, it sure is hot in here. Okay. Be back at 7. Are you going to let me into the van? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, you go away. Now just keep going. Ah, are we dry? Nope, we're still a little limpy. I think another day will do it. So you'll have to stay out until tomorrow. It didn't get as hot today as it usually does. It's about 9.30 in the morning. You know, it wasn't that warm last night, luckily. In fact, it's quite overcast today. Can you see the sun? But they're saying the sun's coming out about noon. We should finish baking these things. There's a semi-crunchy one. Is that good or is that good? They're going to be really nice when they're dry. Ooh, strong. Well, it's one o'clock. It's not quite crunchy, crunchy. I like crunchy, crunchy. Because I'm going to leave it on the stems. Give it a little bit more sunshine. Oh, I know. Put it in the window for the next few hours. Now to get it nice and crispy. Well, a day and a half in a hot vehicle. Oh, definitely did the trick. Even the biggest sticks are crunchy. Okay. Put a lid on it so it doesn't get blown away. And go jar it up. So a day and a half. That's all it took. And no electricity. Here's the hot and spicy oregano. I put an oxygen absorber and a moisture absorber and all that other good junk for my vitamins in there. It's really neat because it tastes like oregano. It's hot. In fact, the tip of your tongue will go numb and so will your lips. I did have to take it off of the stems because I couldn't get them in the jar but I left them as intact as I possibly could because I crushed them as I used them to release their oils. But if you like hot stuff, see if you can find a hot and spicy oregano plant because boy, it's worth it. Because I cannot eat hot stuff anymore and this didn't affect me. I still sneak it in every now and then and pay dearly, but that's okay. It's worth the pain.
baby mockingbird is right outside that window. And mommy and daddy's been feeding it constantly.